Okay. Nice throw. Oops. Max, nice right. to see you again. Okay, Ira. Sit, sit on the couch. Okay, all right, okay. Right. We're all here. Okay. Yeah? Oh, yeah, we are. Right. Let's watch this documentary of ours. You mean the Deep Space Nine documentary? Yeah, the one we did all the interviews for. I cried through mine. You certainly did. <laughs> I want to see the part where the writers spend the day coming up with the story for episode one of a mythical Deep Space Nine, season eight. I have a question. Am I in episode one? Oh, Jeff. Oh, here we go. You'll have to watch the documentary to find out. I'll bet Dax is still dead. Oh, the <laughs> fans are so gonna love it. Come on, come on, come on, let's watch the documentary already. We can't, the documentary isn't finished yet. What? It's oh. not finished. And wh why are we here? There's a convention going on. We could be on panels, we could be signing autographs. I can tell you that Armin and Jeffrey and Casey and I, we, we should be rehearsing the Rat Pack show. You're Rehearse the Rat Pack show before every performance. And it never gets any better. Hold on. I thought we were here to watch the sizzle reel for the Indiegogo fundraising campaign. I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't clear. This is the DS9 Indiegogo fundraising campaign. You mean this? <laughs> this? Now? Oh. oh. So now what? Now we watch some clips of what we already shot. People, I don't think we're really ready for the show. The farthest reaches of the galaxy, one of the most remote outposts available, this is where the adventure is. When I served aboard the Enterprise, I always knew who were my allies and who were my enemies. DS9 has more shades of gray. It is getting a new life. All the conventions, it's all new people, and they're into it. You begin to like it. It's in cities. I think some thought, hmm, this is not Star Trek, because they have a very limited view of what Star Trek is. Were you aware if the show wasn't considered part of the Roddenberry universe? It was too dark. The fans were not sure whether they should embrace the show. Now, did you watch Deep Space Nine during its original run? Not really, and I just didn't get it. People ask me, what was your favorite episode? And I say, well, my best was on Deep Space Nine. The thing that Avery had was that he was dangerous. Avery had a very clear idea about what he wanted to do with Cisco. A lot of people, including our producers, were resistant to that. Deep Space Nine looked more like us. It was awesome because things were evolving in storytelling, especially for Star Trek, because we were in the middle of that evolution of what was happening. The great thing about doing a 20-year jump forward is for them, it doesn't matter. Like, Cisco can be as old or as young as we want him to be. I could see Kira having to go to the planet and ask him to come back. The legacy of this show is the things that bring us together. Because we can always think of the things that separate us. Are you in or out? I want to see ah. oh, Yes. Oh. Yes. Well done. Are the clips over? That's it. That's all there is? Now what? It's just the point where we ask people to contribute money to, to the documentary. Spoken like a true Ferengi. Spoken like a dead Cardassian. <laughs> How much money are we asking for, Ira? $150,000 is the goal. That'll help us complete post-production, uh, afford those great film clips we want to show, and complete the film. You think the fans still care enough about the show to contribute actual money? Of course they do. Deep Space Nine is more popular now than it was when it originally aired. You can see it from the support we get from all our fans at the conventions. Um, who are you? Hey, I'm Hannah Hate. I played Molly O'Brien. I was five years old. Oh. oh! So the show itself hasn't actually changed, but the reaction to it seems to have changed a lot. It's very true. So is this where we ask people for money? No, this is where you take out your wallets and hand over your money. Come on, let's go, cough it up. All right, all right, all right. And let's set a good example. Never ask the fans to do anything that you would not do yourselves. Whoa. Whoa! Jeffrey Combs! Oh. There you go, there you go. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. There goes his pension check. Oh, stop. <laughs> Ira, how'd we do? It looks like we are going to need a hundred and forty-eight thousand nine hundred and seventy-eight dollars. The rest is up to you. Please help us with our Indiegogo fundraising campaign. Help us finish this wonderful documentary about a television series we all love. Which we know you love, too. Thanks for your support and your money. 
Is there a portrait of Gull Ducat on the $100 bill? Nice try, Casey. Well, I tried. <laughs>